Hello, it's Kevin here. It's been a while, but we've had uh, much to do in the last, I don't know, was it two or three weeks? Maybe even more. Anyway, this is our final video of how to write uh, your IELTS essay writing task two. Conclusion, conclusion sentences. Let's uh, remind ourselves what we have done so, so far. So we've looked at the introduction, how to write that, how to paraphrase sentence one, sentence two, answer the question with your thesis. Body paragraphs, one and two, four sentences, your topic sentence, your main idea, your supporting sentence, your example, your reinforcement or link. Now we're going to take a look at the final part of a essay puzzle, as it were, though it's not that much of a puzzle. But conclusion, this is where you restate your thesis. You know, if you agree or disagree or what the advantages are, etc. You summarise your main points and one final thought. So you can see where we are now, right? We've done two sentences for the introduction, body paragraph one and two, four sentences each, two, maybe three for your conclusion. So essentially, all you need, 12, 13, maybe 14 sentences, but 12 or 13 sentences, that's enough for your IELTS essay writing task two. This should get you about 280, 290, 300 words. And that's all that you need, okay? So, Let's have a quick look as an overview. The conclusion, it's crucial, right? Strong final impression, it can boost your score. It's crucial, it's the last thing the examiner reads. Okay? And for both general training and academic candidates. So, your introduction and conclusion are essentially two versions of the same thing. They're connected. You have to return to the ideas in the introduction. You can add further insight from the body of your essay. Because as if you remember, in your introduction, you're giving an outline. There's no detail. In the main body, you go into the detail of what you actually mean. And that's how that kind of works. So let's see the next one. So you need to summarize the key points of your essay and show how everything fits. This is it, you're wrapping it up, your conclusion, everything's got to fit in, okay? Varied language now. So essentially, you're saying the same thing as your introduction, but in paraphrase, okay? You want to avoid using the same words, language and structure from your body paragraphs and your introduction. We need a wide range of vocab, etc. Your opinion must be clear. Now, it should be clear, as the criteria says, all the way through your essay. If you haven't done that and you should, make sure you definitely have it in the conclusion. But really, it should be obvious all the way what you think. Now, don't add anything new. This is very common. When I was at university, they always used to say this, undergrads writing their first essays, don't add anything new, nothing new, right? It's to provide closure, not to introduce new ideas. Now you can have a recommendation that we'll come to, but nothing new, only that which you've mentioned in the essay. So only use in conclusion to conclude, don't use anything else. Okay, just in conclusion to conclude, don't use anything else. Let's have a look at a sample. So you can see the words in red, blue and green. Essentially, it's paraphrase. St uh, students should learn real life skills like money management. These skills benefit later in life and prevent future financial issues. In conclusion, Teenagers should learn financial planning to help in adulthood and avoid serious consequences. Yeah, you can see here in black and blue, affect, uh, threatens, solve, entertain, uh, sorry, solve environmental issues, provide solutions. Okay, so there's nothing new here. 
you're just reiterating, restating what you said in your introduction. As you can see here in the in the words, phrases in blue and red. Local businesses, companies, government, the authorities. Okay, I'll just leave it there. You can pause it and read it for yourself. Now, optional. It did for me personally. Well, for me, it depends what the topic is. If I can think of a recommendation and if the recommendation will fit, I add one. It depends. Depends on the time. Depends if you've reached your word limit or not. If you haven't reached 250, you can use it. Uh, it depends. You know, it's like a lot of what we are saying here is normative. As in, in ideal circumstances, but we know that when you're under pressure, the examination it might not uh, always turn out as we would like so this is an option so for example financial planning should be compulsory in education tech technology will successfully address climate change recommendation prediction so to conclude the conclusion no new ideas all your ideas belong in the main body. In the introduction, you give an outline of what you are, what you intend to say. In your main body, you say it. In the conclusion, restate what you said. Essentially, you're saying the same thing three times in three different ways. That's how essays are. Answer the question, vary your language. Paraphrase, paraphrase. Don't use the same language as you do for the introduction. So simply a summary and always write a conclusion, even if the time is short, you know, just a sentence in conclusion, I agree with the statement or something. Always make sure that you have one if you're running short of time. Well, I hope that helps. Thanks to IDP, I know it's an advantage. And uh, we'll see you next time, our next video. Uh, if, if and when we get the time, we're thinking of doing a complete essay rundown. So combining all these tips, introduction, body paragraphs, conclusion, putting it into an essay so you can see just exactly how it works. I'm not sure how we're going to do that yet. If, it, if I'm going to write it in real time, in 20 minutes, sorry, in 40 minutes, or if we'll do it in a slightly different way. Anyway, keep an eye out for that. And I uh, hope this helps. Don't forget, go to iox9.pro. If you're watching on YouTube, see below. Uh, if you're on Telegram, I'll see you next time. Okay, bye for now.